video producer here, stream manager. You're live! So, there we go. That's much better. Hooray! Ugh. Alright. That's, uh... So I did spend time to level up specifically only Slade and... Was it Geralt that we agreed upon? Yep. Level uh, so 8. They're, they're yep. both level Perfect. 8. Uh, that's it. Um, but I want to go try and get... Because I'm missing a couple things. Okay. I'm missing a couple rings. And I'm missing my wish wand. Is it wish wand? No, goddess staff. So, we're gonna go get those, because the goddess staff will actually help Freya. Um, because he doesn't have Aura 2, and a goddess staff casts Aura 2. So we're actually gonna go do that. Sadly, it is a long way. Because <laughs> the goddess staff is all the way... I have to trigger it. Wait, I think I have to sell something first. Um, you have to sell something to trigger it appearing? Yeah, I remember it was like some, I had to have either the, the protect ring or the quick ring in the deal section. Um, okay. Uh, okay. But the other thing I need here is... I need to trigger the battle here. Because... Oh my god. god. This is an old I battle. So much you health. have the black ring. That's what I need. I, I, fit, I never beat this battle killing all the enemies. I think I killed the wizard first. Yeah, okay. Uh, and what I'm going to get for Karna to do, rather than boost, I just cast Aura on five people. She should just automatically get 25 experience every time. And I don't mess around with stat agility nonsense. <laughs> 26 experience, I'll take that. Now this will also give me time to... Asin, what are you at, like, level? Uh, you don't have a ring. Oh, I gave the protect ring to these guys when I was doing the thing. Ow. Oh. Here, I'll give the ring to Kazan when it's your turn. <laughs> Peter, go kill things. Uh, mind you, there is th this battle can still be scary because Rick is still only level seven. Rick, Gerald, and Slade are only level seven promoted, so they can still get hit by these guys. Everyone else should be fine. Wait, no, you. We need to get him up to level 25. <laughs> or 35. 35 is when he learns Blaze. His, his final spell, Blaze 4. That's why I was okay. waiting to level 35. Good old Kiwi. Yeah, so what happens with Freya, he doesn't learn Aura for another three levels, but with the Goddess Staff, if he casts... It, he gets it cast aura two, which would give him like forty eight experience if he gets everyone in it. So he'll level up faster to get his all his other spells quicker. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, not really. I mean, kind of. <laughs> uh. So I gotta sell a quick ring before I go into the next battle. At least you have a bunch of boost too, lesser demons. <laughs> I, that is true. <laughs> it just means you won't die as quick. <laughs> uh... Anywhere? What? What's the max amount of people? Do.
I think Karna learns Aura 4 at level 40? 40 or 45, so I would love to get her to that point. What's Aura 4? It just, like, heals everyone automatically? Heals everyone in your party full oh HP. My God. But it costs, like... Oh, fuck! Come on! It costs, like, 40 or 50 MP. Uh, it's okay. That makes it a bit more palatable. Well, she's only got, like, 95 MP right now. So that'd be, no, like, pretty much... Green. She's over 100. For MP? Yes. Oh, yeah, she is. Okay. Wait, Kazan, what do I want to do? Yeah, I might as well just... I guess I'll have you equip it, and then I'll have you use it. It's not broken, is it? Okay. Says 64. Literally, you know how long it took me to freaking level them up? <laughs> well, you were controlling the enemy and just, like, having them come towards you? Yeah, so I was originally just gonna go to a weaker battle and do that for it, but I was like, that I'll get a, I'll get a lot more money if I do it that way. So what I ended up doing is I was going to the current battle and just sending the archers up and then attacking them. Slade and Geralt, Geralt were doing one damage to them. Oh, God. I okay. was speed boosting and just holding A. It took so long to kill them. Because if I did it with the, like, the weaker battles, I would have actually accumulated a lot more money, but I was like, ah, I don't want to make it that broken. So I've only got, I only accumulated 10,000 instead of, like, would have been, like, probably, like, 50,000 otherwise. So I was at least able to control the minimum amount of money I could gain I from mean, you it. could have, could you have just, like, bought it and resold stuff? And slowly wither yourself down? What do you mean? You buy... 50 of something. Oh no, you can't because... Ah, oh, it's right, never mind. Yeah. Stupid hold system. Mm-hmm. Um... Though, we were talking about the last time we were thinking, is, does it cost money to make the mithril weapons? It does. I looked oh, it up. Oh, good. It costs 5,000 gold per weapon. <laughs> so, uh... There'll probably be a bit where I'm grinding on stream if I have to to get that money. Four. Seriously? Was that attack? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed. So, I'll I can tell you why it's only four. Um, the weapon those archers have, believe it or not, are the are a uh, mithril weapon. So their actual attacks relatively low, and the percentage it increases by is based off your base attack, not including your weapon. And since they have a mithril weapon. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much where all their attacks coming from. I see. Because I do believe the Nazca cannon is what your weapon is. And... It's not the best mithril weapon, but I don't get that weapon for another two battles. I can- there's a chance of me getting one just in the chest when I get the, uh, the airship. Blaze doesn't do anything to him, does it? Uh, it does 
half damage, so whatever Blaze 3 is will probably be 26 normally. Probably only do about 13 damage to him. So he'll have 10 HP at left after that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Kiwi's like, no. So, now that we've got the joy joysticks working, working like this way, I feel like after we're done your silly Ash Pikachu nonsense, um, we're, we're going to do Shiny Force 3. Player control that. enemies. Yeah, that sounds great. Just because I didn't want to do it because the controllers, like if I had, I could not imagine trying to play a Saturn game with a keyboard. Um, <laughs> but now that we got, we can use controllers. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a very viable option now. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, you'll have to be gentle. I have only beaten the <laughs> the first. I've only beaten Scenario One once. Oh, that'll be a bit more of a playing level playing field. I've never played the game at all, so. Oh well, yeah, but it's a little. E it's a little easier as the enemy. <laughs> Um, I have to uh, build that Ash Percent. Um, yeah, it, I have a checklist. I have a general rule do, set, but I need to make a, a more basic checklist. Do we have to catch 28 Tauros? Um, no, we'll just catch one. Okay, because I can't, I can, my RNG, we all know, is very I bad. I don't want to no, sit we'll there it... for three weeks, literally just trying to catch... <laughs> A single Taros. Yeah, no, we'll just we'll just make it one. Okay. But I was looking, and it's like, <laughs> basically, you're you're going to beat Brock using Butterfree. Well, yeah. You have no choice. Yeah, that's you have to. Um, he gets Charmander. Char I think after, after Mount Moon. Your candy. It's after Nugget Bridge, actually. Take the center, Nugget Bridge, save before Rival, Cerulean Rival. So you have Butterfree, Pidgeotto, and Pikachu. Butterfree? <laughs> to go through the Nugget Bridge. Pidgeotto, and yes, that's it. That's your entire team. Then you get Charmander. Yeah. Which you're not allowed to evolve for a while. When does it... And then he has to evolve immediately into Charizard. Pretty much. So basically, you're going to probably get him past level like 36 as a Charmander. When does he evolve as a Charm to a Charmeleon? Uh. Oh my gosh, it's after Erica. Oh, it's definitely it's after, after Erica. Sabrina. Um. It's after Koga. Oh my God. It has. It's between Koga and Blaine. You should use your system to slice Saffron. Consider Sabrina to go pallet down. Uh, use five I to reach can't. level thirty-eight. Flame Thor over Ember. Yeah, you're gonna have a Charmander uh, at level 46. If no, probably higher. Uh, deposit and release Butterfree at Fu Butterfree at Fuchsia City. I thought it was way earlier. Cause Fuchsia's Koga, right? Yeah. I thought he got rid of Butterfly even before that. I don't think he had Butterfree for Sabrina. Uh, let me see. Bye bye Butterfree. Is that yeah? See, bye bye Butterfree is episode twenty one. Yeah, Jesus. That I think Butterfree would be released like after Lieutenant Surge or just before Erica. Uh, the ghost 
also means peak. So it's right before um, Sabrina. Okay. Episode 20, Ghost of Maiden's Peak. Oh, all that loads. <laughs> uh... You want to drop your, uh, your 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 bow weapon? That'd be great. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Uh, Pretty please. <laughs> See, if you drop it, you will do the same amount of damage. Clearly, my god. <laughs> okay, 20. Uh, after leaving in search of Saffron, major events... Okay, that's the like weird ghost fusion episode. Tentacle and Tentacruel. Uh, uh. Oh my god, we're gonna have to beat two Snorlaxes with shitty Pokemon. Yeah. No, technically only one. You don't have to beat the other. Island of the Giant Pokemon. So, who? when does he ever get fucking badges? <laughs> Never. Oh my god, this guy was useless. There was a long stretch, I feel like, between Koga and Blaine. Pokemon Shipwreck. All major events, please visit the history page. Okay, thank God. Thank you, Bulbapedia. <laughs> this is a, a nightmare. I mean, it is Ash Ketchum after all. His whole existence is a nightmare. <laughs> whole existence is pain. <laughs> uh... Timeline. Okay. Oh, this is actually a perfect timeline. Holy crap. This is great. Okay. So. Gets. God, Rick's getting 16 experience. Yeah, they're def he's definitely way behind. Pikachu. Episode 2. Nothing. Episode 3, he catches Caterpie. And, and Pidgeotto. No, I my luck. Uh, I'll get that exact situation where I catch a Caterpie, step one square, and a friggin' level 12 Pidge Pidgeotto shows up. Uh, yeah. So, Caterpie and then Pidgeotto. You can't catch a Pidgey. It's gotta be a Pidgeotto. God, uh, one. Caterpie evolves into Metapod right away. Um, then you get Butterfree, like right out of the gate. Oh, I just keep his turn effect. Yeah. <laughs> um, then you so you so you do have Butterfree for Pewter. Thank God, um, if if you didn't, I don't. It would the challenge would be impossible, without like just grinding. <laughs> yep. Uh. Ash is Pidgeotto. Okay, nothing new there. Uh, then you get Bulbasaur. Then you get Charmander. Then you get Squirtle. Oh, because do we actually have to do that in order? So we can't actually pick up Charmander till. Oh, well, getting Bulbasaur is easy. Yeah, Bulbasaur is friendship. Yeah, just. So you have to get Bulbasaur first. Which is easy. Just wasn't it? Just use a bunch of potions on a fully health Pokemon. Yeah, Bulbasaur. that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. It's easy to cheese. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, okay, so then, yeah. Charmander and then Squirtle. Uh, oh! That's interesting. So then Ash gets a Krabby right after that. Oh, God, so... Oh, fuck. When can we so catch, a, we... catch a Krabby? 
Well, I knew we had to catch a cat, Krabby, but we can't catch a Krabby until we get a super uh... rod. Red, blue, and yellow guide. Krabby. Uh, locations. Krabby can be caught on the Seafoam Islands in all three versions. Can also fish for it in Route 6, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18. Using which rod? Or, uh, as well as Routes 24 and 25 in yellow. Probably a super rod. When do you get the super rod? Isn't that in Fuchsia? It might be, so you might not actually be able to catch anything else until you get to... Hmm. Uh... I mean, he has a par the party's full when he catches Krabby, because it immediately goes to Oak anyway, so... What other Pokemon does he catch other than after Krabby, besides Primeape? So he catches Krabby, then he battles Surge. Oh, we, we can't do that. <laughs> we we ha we ha we can't we can't ha we can't catch Krabby before Surge. That's literally impossible. The good rod you only get after going down the one route to to uh to uh Celadon, right? No. Did you cut? I think you can. Oh no, because you need sir. No. You need to be able you to use cut outside of battle, which is Misty. I thought Misty. Okay, Brock is Flash. Oh yeah, because you have to cut to get to Surge, right? Yeah. Correct. So, okay. Is it possible? Surge is Flash. No, Pewter's Flash, right? Yes. So what does what does Surge give you? Uh, nothing. Just um, level thirty or higher can obey you or something like that. Oh. And he only gives you the Thunderbolt TM, so. Oh, here we go. Route 12 is where the Super Rod is. Go south from Lavender Town to get to Route 12. Yeah, that's the one. So that's after... That's literally after Surge. Get Swift. Catch Snorlax. Hmm. Hmm. Million, this pewter, cerulean. Oh god, we have to catch a muck. There is Vermilion City. Okay, Poke Flute is. You get that after you beat Pokemon Tower. You have to go to self code to get the thingy mabobber. Can you get surge? No, you can. You actually don't have to battle Surge. Oh my god, okay, well that's good. So we have to completely bypass Surge altogether until we get Krabby, go back to Surge afterward. Battle Surge. Oh, my Surge will be so flipping easy at that point. <laughs> then you go on the... then. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're, okay, so we can't do this perfectly, but I don't think it really matters. Technically, the SS Zan is supposed to come after Surge. Oh, yeah, we can't do, we can't do that. Cuts but in. that's impossible. 
No, I wait. Is... Technically no, is... speaking, if you white out when you get cut, you actually come back out, you start back at the Poke Center, and the SSN's still there. That is true, but nothing major happens on the SSN anyway. No. Okay, so we'll just pad. That's fine. That is what it is. Uh, that's fine. Uh, nothing happens there. Nothing happens there. Nothing, nothing. Ash releases, releases Butterfree before Saffron. Oh, then they get to Saffron. Uh... So wait, he fights Sabrina before Erica? Yes. Oh my god. Is that how you're supposed to do it in the game? No. Okay, because I'm like, I definitely fought Erica before Sabrina. Uh, okay, so then after beating Sabrina... This, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is where this is where shit gets stupid. This is where you have to go okay. like to get the primate off the freaking victory road area. Yes. So you have to go out of order a little bit here. Um, you have to you go you have, you have to beat um, what's her name? Uh, so, Erica. Yeah. Te technically, he gets private before Erica, mm -hmm. but you have no choice because you need to get Erica's badge to get that far up Victory Road or whatever. Yeah. So beat Erica. Then once that's done, you then have to go to Victory Road far enough up that you can get to Grass, catch Primate, and then immediately release. And then... Uh, what well, didn't the guide say? Like catch primate with the master ball. Yes, because <laughs> the, you, just, you you don't catch anything else except for a muck. Yeah. Uh, then yes, you can. You basically immediately release him. Um, you then go to. Oh, by wait, wait. Technically, shouldn't you have primate for the fighting gym? No, it's the P1 Grand Prix. I mean, yeah, if you want to be... If you want to be a purist, I guess, you go back to Saffron with him, beat the Fighting Gym then. Then release him. But then you'd have a... I guess you can do that. Yeah, and then immediately you release whatever... Oh, no, just don't pick a... Just don't pick a Pokemon. Yeah, then you go to... <laughs> you go to Cinnabar, catch a Muck... Then leave Cinnabar to go to Fuchsia. Wait, Cin but Muck wasn't that- Wait, when does he catch the Muck? Is that literally that late in the series? It must be. It's, it's just before uh, Koga. Oh, can- Can you surf Muck, the Cinnabar Pokemon by yellow. then? Doesn't Koga oh. give you the ability to surf? Fuck. Uh... See. You can catch Muck in the Pokemon Mansion in all three versions. Yellow players can also encounter him in the Power Plant. Still need Surf. That still requires Surf. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. so you're gonna have to do that out of order too. Yeah. So okay, so beat him, then go catch a muck. Uh you still don't have a Charmeleon. Oh my by the way. Wait. Through oh. all of this you do not have a char it's still Charmander. It's Charmander until after the Primeape and after the muck, but he has a Charizard before he gets Blaine. Yep. But then you have to beat Koga, so like this is how it gets. Oh my god. Then you so then you catch Tauros. Oh my god, you catch Tauros. Oh my. 
So you do nothing for like five badges, and then all of a sudden you have to like do a billion different yeah. things. Uh, then finally, Charmander is allowed to fucking evolve, and then literally evol evolve like <laughs> after that. Uh, Ash and Katagiri again. Yep, then evolve again. <laughs> um. Then go back to Cin go to Cinnabar. Uh, uh. <laughs> Clean. Turn to Viridian. I mean, at that point, it's just finish the game after you get your Charizard and, and release your Primeape and get your Muck. Uh, at that point, you are allowed to evolve Krabby into Kingler after you defeat Lorelei. Fuck. You, so we uh, have to have Krabby in our party. Uh, yeah. Yes, actually, you do. And I guess you have to use it because it has to be able to level up and evolve. Yeah. You still have a fucking Squirtle. Oh, and yeah. And a Bulbasaur. I mean, honestly, Krabby will be better than Bulbasaur as soon... Uh, Krabby will be better than Squirtle as soon as he evolves to Kingler. Correct. Uh... And that's it. Okay, so just don't bring Squirtle to the Elite Four. Simple. So, yeah. yeah. So, so I guess, guess for the Elite Four, four what? Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu Kingler. Pikachu. Pikachu. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> Toro, Toro and Muck. What are you supposed to do against Lance? Uh, uh, Prey? A Kingler with a Kingler with Ice Beam. Kingler with Ice Beam. Yep. That's about all I got for you. Because Bulbasaur is absolutely useless. But, but Pidgeotto is just is even more useless, is it not? I guess it's just it's an evolved, at least it's an evolved Pokemon. It's something. I almost would say, what you so so Pikachu. Tauros, Kingler, Charizard, Muck, Muck. You got one more slot, Bulbasaur. So it's either Bulbasaur or Pidgeotto. Are, are we serious? Is that seriously all we have left? That's the entire fucking team. What the fuck? He, no he, he lets Butterfree go. No he lets wonder Primate this fucking go. kid didn't get very far in the goddamn Elite Four. Oh my god, I never realized how few he had. Oh yeah, he, he he catches like eight or nine Pokemon in the entire friggin' first season. That's it. What a useless friggin'... But he, got, he decides to catch 28 goddamn Tauros. Yup. What a tool. Then he evolves into fucking Pidgeot. After. The episode after. Yeah. And the, he releases them immediately. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fucking useless. Oh, my God. Every time he gets a good Pokemon, he loses it. Think about it. He, get, he gets rid of Charizard, like, whenever that is. Like, oh, my God, this kid. 
elixir heal the full. Twisted Pidgeotto. Yep. So in this guide, which is like a speedrunning guide for it, <laughs> it actually is recommending Pidgeotto, Charizard. Yeah. A Pidgeotto, Charizard, Pikachu. Oh my god. It must recommend Kingler over Squirtle. 100%. Okay. Was it choose Tauros and then Muck? Yep. Yep. Okay. I guess that makes sense because you wouldn't want any first, like, level, like, unevolved Pokemon in your final team. Minus Pikachu, I guess. Bye, Slade. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, Pikachu is the only non-evolved that you have to have. Yeah. Okay, bye, Slade. <laughs> yeah, bye, Slade. Twenty-four damage. Damn. You want to drop your weapon? <laughs> nope. Please? <laughs> You're only doing one damage. <laughs> Six. Actually hit this time, Geralt. Thank you. Uh, anyway, oh, the topic that I had. Um, so there's a new um, Superman show. Uh, it's called My Adventures with Superman. Okay. Dude, it is fucking fantastic. It is... Um, I, I don't know what you'd call American anime. Well, but like anime is just is just Japanese cartoons, right? I know, but it's 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 that style of drawing. Mm -hmm. But it's it's done in, it's it's done by a Western animation studio. Okay. Uh they nailed everything. First off, the the animation is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Everything is very fluid, very colorful, uh, really well done. Then. It's the best, it is the absolute best rendition of Clark Kent I think I've ever seen. Because Clark Kent is, I, to give it a summary of what his character is, he's an alien who crash landed on Earth <gasps> and was you raised don't by like, say. <laughs> and was raised by like a super sweet couple mm -hmm. in the middle of the boonies. Of Smallville. You know, yeah. Uh, exactly. Kansas. Smallville, Kansas. Bingo. Oh, I'm out of MP. Um, you. <laughs> Fuck, I can't keep him alive even here. <laughs> um, so what is that's going to cause is a couple things. One, you need to try to, you know, keep your powers a secret. And, you know, uh, maybe your social skills aren't fully developed. But you're a super, he's a super nice guy. So he's basically, um, what I've seen people online refer to him as is, uh, redorkable. <laughs> he's just like an absolute dork, mm -hmm. but he's adorable for it. And, um, the, the, the Lois Lane, they've turned into, um, because again, it's a modern take, so everything is taking place like in the 21st century. Yeah, they're not pretending like it's the 50s anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's very much a like, um, almost tomboyish. Yeah, and very like, um, it, it captures like the sort of the headstrong determination that Lois Lane had, mm -hmm. but it gives her a more modern, you know, less. I don't want to say damselly because I don't think she ever really was, but it's just such like a, a good modern take, um, and just all of it is is it's so damn good. And um, I forgot how much the of a pain these lesser demons are with their Blaze Three. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Um, the only part that's weird 
is for whatever reason there was a decision made to um originally it was gonna be a cartoon network show mm -hmm. they ended up moving it to adult swim which is fine except they gave it um the midnight slot why so late i don't know it's but it's where they put i think it's because in the u.s adult swim is not its own channel okay it's a it's a it's a block on cartoon network mm -hmm. so i think the idea is by having it air at midnight in canada we don't get it before the u.s does oh my god i think that's the thought process I'll have to look that up sometime. Yeah, it's so, so damn good. Karna never he learns heal four. No? No. Oh. I don't even think Freya learns anything past heal two. They're both aura users. Why not? It probably won't even kill, that's the funny thing. Oh, uh, barely. 14. He probably would have done more- no, he wouldn't have done more damage with just hitting him with a staff. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> I can't kill the wizard, because the wizard's your boss, so I'm trying to avoid him. <laughs> no, not close enough. Damn it. You know what, that's actually bad, because that lizard will hit hard. Of course it's a heavy hit. Yes. How many heavy hits have you done? I feel like more than 50% of your hits have been heavy. Yeah. Wait, is it the lizard man or is it the wizard? Oh, I didn't. Oh no, I don't want to have to redo this battle again. Fuck! Huh? I swear it was the wizard, but then I saw the lizard, and I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> the lizard ain't the wizard. No. All right. Well, we'll at least go see if I can get the goddess staff. I'll do that on the way back. The black ring just allows me to cast blaze two or three or something if I use it. It's the only reason I want it. But also I also gotta sell that quick ring and revive people. Who died? Slade? That's it, I think. sell it here. There. I was like looking for my C button. Um, sell. I think it was Slade who had it, actually. Yeah. No. Alright. I gotta keep that in there. Fight the one battle. And it should appear in my deal section. Unless something funky happens. <laughs> Which I wouldn't put it past this game either, so... Uh, yeah, the news that I have is... Uh, so Limited Run Games is remastering a bunch of games, so Gex is coming back. I did see Gex. Uh, did you see the... Uh, the oh-so-infamous 3DO game that's basically a slideshow of softcore porn. Uh... Plumbers Don't Wear Ties? Yeah. 
They That's are, getting a fucking re-release. They are getting a remaster oh, of Plumbers to Wear Ties. Remaster of what? Did they find the original like video? Uh, well, the video would have still been poor quality, but it's it would be still better instead of like early DVD. It would be like late DVD Plumbers quality. Plumbers don't wear ties. Definitive edition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess like during the reveal, I think it's one of the I think it's the actress there doing it. I, I fucking oh, coming soon to Nintendo Switch, PS5, PS4, Xbox, and Steam. Fucking Nintendo Switch will put anything any like Nintendo will put anything on their fucking Switch now. I swear. Oh my so I god! Think. Oh, you have a protect ring. I wonder if you will drop if you will drop that if I kill you. So I have to fight this battle. And then apparently the goddess staff is supposed to pop up in my box or deals or whatever. Yeah, when I saw that I I could not I could not believe it. And of course, deep down I'm like, I'll never get a 3DO version, so I gotta have the Switch version if they <laughs> like Oh my god. Just to have on the shelf so that when some person, random person comes by to my house sometime and sees that sitting on the shelf, they'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that'll be the end of the conversation. <laughs> I didn't break the protect ring, did I? I want to see if... I don't think so. No. Okay. I don't want to... I gotta hate Twitter. I don't want a fucking Twitter. I just want to see what Scott the Waz has to say about Gex. <laughs> I don't want to. Here, let me see if let me see if I can. I have Twitter. Let me take a quick look. Uh, I thought I followed Scott. I didn't see him post anything, but sometimes Twitter doesn't fucking show you. Oh, he no, this is, will not let me. Scott oh the Waz. Okay, let's I... see. Fuck, fuck Elon, man. Oh, what the fuck? I have- there's nothing new posted by him. About Gex. Oh, surprised. Yep, yeah, no, nothing. Did I Did you see the- have you seen the video of the guy going around and getting all the Gex? No. <laughs> I'll show you, he- he, <laughs> he basically is like, um... He's, I he's a fan, so he's like, I want to try to get as much, as many like different versions of Gex as I can, oh my God. and bring them to Scott at a convention. <laughs> oh so he goes to like all these game stores, he orders copies online, and he brings him just like this just full box of Gex, it's, like sealed copies, with like a graded copy in there. It's just like anything, any anyone who is selling Gex for any price, he was like. I gotta buy it. Oh my god. Gotta have Gex. <laughs> Hilarious. It has nothing. Like, it's from a Scott the Waz episode, but it's not even Scott, it's his friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest part about it. I thought we were playing Gex. <laughs> Slaps Gex on the screen. Oh, fuck. I miss this stuff. God, did you watch his, like, one, like, almost two-hour movie of the Wii U, part one? Yep. <laughs> well, you have... Do you subscribe to his other channels? Yeah, what is it? He has, like, Scott Stash and... What's the other one? Uh, Scott Stash and... Go to his channel. Yeah. Channels. Uh, Scott Stash and Scott Snippets. Yeah, Scott's. Oh yeah, Scott Snippets are just short clips from his like main channel. They are. Yeah. But Scott Stash, I watched a lot of his stuff. Yeah. We had the one the other day was um, Nintendo Switch Starter Editions, which I never, I never knew about. Oh yeah, I have the, I have like the Zelda one. Stupid things. I have okay. I'm behind. I've missed a, a, the last like five. 
<laughs> uh, do you see AVGN posted uh, a new Indiana Jones one? I did. Um, oh, um, he has a uh, one of his new ones. It's called The Stupidest Thing I've Ever Bought. Yeah, that's the one I want to watch. Yeah. I'll have to do that later. It, you know, it's, it's about Amico, right? Oh, is it? Oh, that's even better. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> yeah, it's about Amico. That's even better. I got like a newsletter back in like May. I never, I don't think I ever mentioned it because I just don't, I don't care. Now it's one of the situations where like, I don't even care like that they have my money. If it gets released, I don't even care. I just, it'll just be like one of those like stupid artifacts I hold in my room <laughs> at this point. That's all it is. If it just... ever gets released. What was the, uh, sorry, what was the main newsletter? basically just saying oh you know still working on it and uh looking for more like more more bs it's what it got if it's if they said looking for more investors i that's fucking hilarious okay, you give me a second uh, you're not gonna be able to control for a second i'm gonna actually double check okay. to see if that's what it was yep uh I feel like it probably mentioned something stupid like that again. I, they must know nothing. Like, they, they don't even know, like... Um, well, uh, what's his name? Here we go. <sighs> Which, what's his name? Tommy, or are you talking about the new Phil? Ta 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 Talarico's gone. He's No, he's the CCO, not the CEO. Oh, okay. At least, uh, the last time I checked, I've never gotten another update other than that. The CEO is Phil Adams. Okay. I think Tommy went to a CCO. Chief Creative Officer instead of a Chief Executive Officer. Last 18 Not months... <laughs> uh, so becoming CEO extremely difficult. During this time, we laid off a large portion of our staff, restructured our management team, began the process of reevaluating every aspect of the business, which including the path to lay ahead for Intellivision. We, we have distilled down from countless hours is that we are more actually wish to be the business of creating a living room experience, blah, blah, blah. Just talking more about couch thing, you know family thing. We're going to be creating great content, world-class partners. This will be announced during a new part... <laughs> to this end, we will be announcing a string of new partnerships that will not only help bring fun and innovative content capture to Miko, but also bolster celebrates our content's appeal. By one, licensing our IP to development partners, which we knew was coming anyways. Uh, being poised to bring something great to the market, and two, leveraging our IP in ways that ensure delivery uh, on Amico, but additionally expands our content to entirely new audiences and television would otherwise be unable to reach, and three, acquiring new IP that embodies Amico and fits our strategic things, okay, whatever. Uh, the business environments, we solely depend on traditional hardware console, the cost of time is super blah, 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 blah. Uh, broadening our talent pool. There's like, oh, we're gonna broaden our talent pool, but you just laid off a whatever. Um. Okay, so no, there's no, um, no looking for more investors. Just more nonsense. Got it. More stalling. More stalling. Um. <laughs> Uh... To me, I'm, I'm mostly just keeping like this because I get these stupid newsletters, so I get to see all the shit that happens, right? So it's kind of like one of the perks of still not getting a refund for a hundred dollars, whatever. Oh, you only put a deposit down? I I put a deposit down a long, long time ago. Oh, I thought you prepaid for the whole thing. Oh no, no, just a deposit. Interesting, okay. Fuck, I wasn't gonna... I never pay for a full thing unless, like... I really, 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 really want it, and it's from a reputable source. <laughs> and since the Amico in television isn't, you know, was trying to revive itself, and uh, uh, all the nonsense, like, with Atari, VCS, and then the Chameleon, I was like, I'm not gonna fully pay for anything. Yeah, it makes sense. I was stupid. Not that stupid. <laughs> you were hopeful, not stupid. Yeah.
Like, I still like the concept of the Intellivision. Don't get me wrong. Um, the hardware is now outdated to fucking no end. It's almost, it's almost a decade old based off their old specs almost at this point. Um, so, unless they're fucking gonna bring, uh, be updating all their hardware, I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. Um, because they announced it in, like, what, 2019? Like, summer 2019? Yeah. So, and even then, like, the hardware's looking from, was back from, like, 2016, I think? Um. But. Yeah. <laughs> like, I still like the idea of having the console, having the controllers with the screen. I, I, I liked the Wii U. The Wii U was not marketed right. There was not a good Correct. support system for it. I think Scott said a lot of it in his in his thing. Like, it was a system that didn't get to show its full potential. Hundred percent. Um. And I, I mean, first off, the name was stupid. Oh, it was absolutely stupid. It was the stupidest name. They they. It, it does sound like an attachment. So many people thought it was an attachment. I knew it wasn't, but I I know so many people who did. They thought it was just yep. an add-on. Like, oh, cool! It's a new controller for my Wii. <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't help that like the, the the Wii U itself just looks like a modernized Wii, like a, a, maybe a new model. Like it, it was such a stupid. Yeah. <sighs> Not smart. But yeah, like I, I like I. Like the, Couch games are no longer... They, they don't really exist anymore. They really don't. Um, Couch co-op? No. Which, it's, it, it does suck. Mm -hmm. but that was always the most fun. Yeah, like playing Mario Kart with the person beside you, Smash with yep. the person beside you, or... Halo. Halo, or... Uh, 007 Nightfire, yes. or what was it called? Not Nightfire. Agent Underfire. Agent Underfire. <laughs> yep. Freaking like Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, like freaking so many good things to do, but you can't like. And even fighting games, I preferred ha fighting someone online is not fun. Like playing like Soul Calibur or Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter online. No, I'll get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, and it's like, yeah. I mean, if you have a person beside you, they can, and they're kicking your ass, at least they can assist you. Online, they're just gonna be like, haha, noob, and leave. Yep. You fucking suck. Mm hmm. Agreed. No, I miss Couch Club a lot. Or coach co-op, coach, coach competitive, you name it, it's... Yeah. You know. Yeah, there really wasn't, when I think about it, it wasn't really a lot of couch co-op. More, it was mostly coach competitive, wasn't it? It was. Because co-op is so much harder to make work. Yeah. Like, the Mario games can be considered couch... But you're not playing at the same time, right? No. Sonic the Hedgehog, kind of. Yeah, well, Sonic 2. Sonic 2, yeah, for sure. That was couch co-op for sure. You'd just send Tails to go do everything because he never died. <laughs> yes. Uh, brilliant strategy. Why did I have Kiwi all the way up there? Was there a mon- Oh, it was an orc. There was an orc there. <laughs> Just because if too many blazes get hit, I don't want her to die. <laughs> I have all this money. Jeez, I, need a, no. I need to hold on to it for all those mithril weapons I want to be able to purchase. Oh, 
Oh my god, you're getting heavy hits even now. Oh. Hey. Bye, Slade. <laughs> no, he d doesn't do enough damage. Slade's, ha I think, well, Kazan probably has the weakest defense, but Slade would be the next one. Actually, Kazan might have more than Slade. <laughs> I don't know if that'll kill. That might do 14. Not by Slade. <laughs> <laughs> you want to confirm? I want to make sure he's dead. You don't hit just one. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Blast one. <laughs> There we go. Uh, oh wait. Wait a second. I can do this way better. <laughs> oh god. I guess I really didn't need to heal everyone. I guess it was only Bowie and, um, what's his face? I guess she gets more experience. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, well. I don't know, actually, I actually don't know who the... I think it might be the skeleton? That makes sense. Oh, I didn't. God damn it. So, here's the thing with my controller. My C button is for whatever, whatever reason by the computers recognizes my Z axis button. So my C button is where the X button on a six button controller is, which is happens to be right where the A button is. So I can accidentally hit accept twice really easily and quickly. This is very annoying. This actually probably won't kill the bubbling ooze, I think about it. Oh well. Let's pour some water on that ooze, shall we? I might have to get this. Get what? Someone here, someone locally is selling uh, the book uh, Diddly Squat A Year on the Farm by Jeremy Clarkson. Oh my god. Ten bucks. Why not? I might need that. Oh my god, he dropped the protect ring. I've got two protect rings now. That's really annoying. I should start throwing these things away. Well, if you throw them, they just end up at the shop. Oh. So I can buy them. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Okay, so now I need to go... Okay, avoid... Triggering it again. Because I need to go back to a... S shop. To see if it's... Dropped the goddess staff. If it didn't, I'll do that battle one more time. Because <laughs> that goddess staff is going to save Freya from being absolutely useless. Which is kind of necessary for the next two battles. Um, I don't think that has a weapon shop. No, it doesn't. Remember that. We just have to go all the way back to Grand's new Grand Seal. Actually, I mean, May just got a protect ring. Might as well freaking equip her with it. I don't know how long, how expensive that goddess staff will be now I think about it. Why do I have another- why is there a fucking protect ring in here? <sighs> I 
Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the quick ring back. I'm gonna leave the protect ring in here. Because that's another way to trigger it, is having the protect ring in there. And fight that battle again. Oh my god, I just... I just want my goddess staff, please. No, I don't want the ch Actually, you know what? Just I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if it has something to do with the deal section being so full. Um, I'll put that in the caravan. Here you go, Bowie. No, don't even... <laughs> okay. There's two empty spaces. The protect ring's in there. If I do that battle again, it should drop... It should drop the goddess staff, not another goddamn... Who did I give that new protect... I, no, I, I bought the quick ring. Okay. So I'm trying to figure... Figure out what... I don't know how I got another protect ring. That's not what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be a goddess staff. Ah. <sighs> That means I have you three. Satisfied with your protect ring? Pardon? I said, aren't you satisfied with the protect ring? No. You have two now. Isn't I, well, that technically, great? I have three. One's in the deal section still. Oh my god. But I want the goddess staff because the goddess staff will give Freya the ability to use Aura Two, which she doesn't learn for like another fucking fifteen levels. <laughs> and since. He doesn't learn anything past heal too. I might as well make sure he has aura. Fair. If it doesn't pop up this time, I'll go. But we'll start. We'll try and go do the the main battle again. Okay. I just really want that goddess staff. I equipped Slade with that ring, right? Or did I just give it to him? Okay, he's equipped. Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> a little concerned for a second. Same battle, no difference. Oh, it is different! It is different. What the fuck? Oh! Hey, another protect ring! Good news! <laughs> yeah, but you actually got your Master Monk, which is actually a current enemy for you. And I think a Rune Knight's only a couple battles old? Oh, you got two Master Monks. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I can't be as reckless. I don't think the worms are... Oh my god, the worms are actually... They were at the bridge battle, so that's only about... Three battles ago. Huh. I guess they've heard of my escapades. <laughs> Word got out. Word got out. Sorry. I'm freaking trying to figure out what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> there we go. Wait, I could have gotten more protect rings? I just clued into something. Remember the last time when we were doing our race, I broke my protect ring? <laughs> I could have just come back and gotten more? Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Oh, this is this is way too much money. But this is so cool. Uh, this is a smart side table with thermoelectric cooling drawer. Why? <laughs> There's a side table with basically a, a pull-out mini fridge and a wireless charging top. Uh, laptop storage with um, basically like a pass-through for power. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cool, but it's like $1,200. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> Alright, Kazan's finally level 38. He can finally be promoted. No, 35, sorry. He should learn Blaze 4. Thank God! <laughs> We will finally have a useful Kazan that doesn't have to just use D-Sword. His blaze should do more damage now when he promotes. 
because Diesel has not been friendly with me lately. Neither has Muddle. Um. <laughs> Alright, wizard. Freya, I really, I really need to get that goddess staff for him. <laughs> oh, jeez. He hit six on Kiwi? Pardon? Who has the goddess staff? So no one has the goddess staff. It's some weird glitch that Sirius explained that it just, for some odd reason, the numbers just make it so that a goddess staff appears in the deal section. Oh, okay. Through a series of random number generating nonsense, at some point, somehow, a reference for the goddess staff appears in the store. No idea why. That's bizarre. It is bizarre. <laughs> Poor arrow launch is just tucked in a corner. Uh, Someone please kill me. Uh... At least the gold's good. 330 gold is, like, a decent amount. I actually might have you go here, because you will need the experience. Because this should give you experience. It sure does! That's a lot of experience for just attacking and not even killing. What do the harpies have for magic? I think actually didn't know. Uh... Nothing that I saw. Hey. That guy in a speedo, I think if the quick ring is in deals. I think it's the quick ring or the the um protect ring. I have a protect ring in the deal section right now. I think it can be either or. So it should drop now. Also, welcome to the stream. Um hmm. That master monk's scary for me. <laughs> Oh man, oh, the pizza pocket, pizza, pizza cheese its oh, little pizzas. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> cheese its you can't quite. This is gnarly. It's okay. uh, pizza pockets or pizza, pizza bites. Pizza bites and then bagel bites. Uh, I think it's just like a mini pizza. And then chili. Yeah. Make me hungry. I yeah, I man, I've had pizza bites in so long. Neither have I. When he said when I saw the picture, I was like, oh my god, I could go for yeah. some of those. Man, I might I might have to buy a bag this weekend. Oh. I haven't had a pizza pocket in a long time either. Or was it what is like the big ones called? Like from like pizza shops like a pa Panzerati? Yeah. Yeah, Panzerati's fantastic. Totinos. I mean, your Master Monk is, like, an actual heavy hitter, so he will actually hurt. <laughs> Totino's. It's edible. <laughs> as long as it's edible. Totino's. It's food. It's food. <laughs> uh, I love food. I might have to go get food. I'm actually kind of hungry. Or calzones. Oh, cal... Oh, calzones. Which ones are calzones? Panzerati and calzones are very similar things. Okay. I don't know how much of a difference there is. Oh god. I hope we don't want to offend someone. 
<laughs> I'm looking it up. Okay. Uh. You want that orc just? To, okay. Do <laughs> you want me to control the orc and just attack Slade? <laughs> I don't think there was much of an Answer option. Roddy. Versus Calzone. Thanks, Google. You want me to move the arrow uh, launcher up? <laughs> Panzerati are usually smaller and can be fried or baked. Calzones can also be fried or baked. That helps me with nothing. <laughs> you are useless. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So Panzerati... What? Panzerati's folded in threes. Calzones is folded in half. That's it? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I said, I don't know which one I'd prefer. I think the Calzone would probably be the one I preferred. <laughs> uh, hey, Cass, and just go have some fun. Go use Blaze 4. Let's take a looky at this. That'll do more damage once he's promoted. <laughs> At least God, I hope he does. <laughs> it does. I like a good stromboli myself. Oh no, what's that? <laughs> it's a whole pizza folded? Uh, go kill the Dark Madam. See if we'll drop another Protect Ring. Nope. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> oh wait, was Pizza's... Oh, was Peter's... Uh, I said Pizza's, I meant Peter's. Was Peter's inventory full, is that why? Yup. That's why the Dark Madam didn't drop it. Which means it could be put in the shop, though. Oh, but that might affect the freaking Goddess Staff! I swear, if I go back there and there's another goddamn fucking... If there's two Protect Rings in there, I'm gonna be pissed. Trumboli is pizza pasta. Oh, is that... Oh, that's what this... It wasn't chili. I see. The one thing I'll admit about this old Subway pizza subs was the actually the marinara for like the, that they use for the meatballs was actually decent. The, you know what? It actually was as, as long as it wasn't sitting too long. Yeah, if it was fresh, it was actually not yeah, bad. It was solid. Um. I think we, we, we talked about this briefly before, but their new... Oh, the uh, menu? Oh, God, yeah. God, it's good. I don't... I'm trying to remember if I... I'm it's, trying too, to it's too damn expensive. Oh, fuck, yeah. It's way too damn expensive. I'm just trying to think if I've had any other ones other than the brisket. The Calgary Stampede brisket. Yeah, the brisket is, is the best. I've also had... Um, I tried some... Heather got the... Um, the, the, it's like a mozzarella pesto. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. I had a bite of that. Um, what else? Uh, I think I also tried the, like, um, I think I just got a cold cut combo, but I got some of their new toppings. Like, they have crispy onions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they've got um, a new, like, habanero cheese. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Oh. At one point, the Swiss disappeared, and I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Yep. I think it's back now. Oh, yeah. It, it, it was gone for, like, two or three months, and then they realized they <laughs> messed up. <laughs> right. I don't even know why they even got rid of Swiss. That was, like, that one boggled my mind. The shredded carrots, I kind of get, but freaking... 
And when they got rid of the wraps, that one confused me too. When they initially got rid of the wraps, I was like, well, "Why?" That was a really dumb decision. Because the flatbreads suck. I don't. So the flatbreads are good for the breakfast sandwiches. Okay, fair. Yep, I that is completely fair. But why would you? I don't know why I'd go with flatbread on no. any of their main yeah. menu. If you get a steak and cheese on a flatbread. What is wrong with you? <laughs> like <laughs> meatball on a flatbread. Oh god. And I you know what? I have a feeling I've seen someone do that. Oh yeah. The nightmare sand the nightmare sub for the longest time. I had I had never had to make it, but I had seen it referenced online. Foot long double meat meatball flatbread. No. The worst one. I'm not sure if you remember, this is like the first time I started at Subway, not the second time. When they first brought the Montreal smoked meat, and you had to put standard, it was yes. like six or like eight or something on a regular one, and then they asked for double meat, and then they proceed yep. to ask, we had to say we recommend only mustard, but they would still proceed to add like a billion toppings. Yep. Oh. I did have to make a double meat. Thankfully, the only one I had that was a double meat smoked meat did only get... Uh, mustard. They actually listened. Yeah. Um, but you're right. It was the standard was four like blocks of meat, so a double meat was eight. Yeah. It was brutal. And it, it wasn't like a little bit. No, like these these were like a giant portions per block. Like they were huge. <laughs> All right. Oh, they were massive. Yeah. But just what you. Which is what you would expect from a smoked meat sandwich. I think they corrected the next time they did that because I remember it was not that much. I think it was only two and it was regular. Yeah. Fuck! Yep. Didn't, the protect ring didn't even show up. God damn it. Oh, fine. Until, um. What do you call it? Uh, until this brisket, that smoked meat was, I think, the best sandwich they ever had. Yeah. I... <sighs> yeah, I guess there really isn't much. No. I never tried the lobster. No. Uh... I did try... In one of my last shifts there, I did finally try the, uh, the bar barbecue pork rib. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was not good. No. I did try... You know, I actually did try their lobster. It wasn't too bad. Um, I think Mr. Sub had a lobster at one point. I actually preferred that one. That's fair. No, now the, the issue with Subway is their, their prices are completely out of line. <sighs> so many things are out of line. Every fast food I find is really bad. Except for Wendy's. Somehow Wendy's is still kind of decent. Wendy's... Well, Wendy's and Burger King. Yeah. Although Burger King starting to lose the plot a bit too, um, the, um, <laughs> the 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 Whopper index uh, for the longest time, like for years, Whopper Wednesday, five dollars okay. you get a Whopper, a soda, and fries. Mm -hmm. All this inflation has started happening. It was five dollars, then it was five fifty, then six. 630, 650, 680, and I believe it's 750 now. Oh my god. Well, and it did that over the span of like a year. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, Wendy's at least, so um, so today was National French Friday. Oh, I didn't know that. And I, I, I was, I gotta admit, I was kind of disappointed because you'd think McDonald's would do something right mm -hmm. their deal was you get a free large fry if you order $15 or more on delivery yeah like fuck that Wendy's you got a $1 large fry as long as you use the app yeah so uh, I went over for lunch I got uh, Heather and I french fries and uh, they also have these new Frosty Chinos. Okay. Which are pretty good. It's it's basically an iced coffee, but instead of cream, they use Frosty as the cream. Oh, that sounds delicious. 
It's really good. And I haven't had I haven't had Har uh, Wendy's in a long time. I haven't had Hardy Harvey's in one time, but I feel like it depends on the Harvey's you go to. Last like sometimes I feel like they just overdo the burgers. They do have that tendency to overcook them a bit. Um, very very briefly, Harvey's. So when the whole like bowl trend was picking up about five years ago, mm -hmm. um, Harvey's tried to come up with their own rice bowls. Yeah. And so I was, I was in Hamilton at the time, and my, I love Chipotle. Like, Chipotle is my absolute favorite thing in the world. So I was like, all right, we're going to go to Harvey's. I'm going to try one of these bowls. And so I go and I order it. And they're like, oh, um, okay. <laughs> and that's my first fucking sign. Yeah. So they go and they have got like, this rice cooker. It's sort of just sitting in behind. Oh, no. And they start making my bowl. And everything looks fine. Like, uh -huh. everything, you know, is, is okay. And I go to eat it, and it's, like, just hard as a friggin' rock. Oh, my God. Like, that rice had to have been sitting for hours. Because <laughs> no one is ordering this damn thing. And two months later, it was off the menu. Of course. No one goes to Harvey's for a fucking rice bowl. I did. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. I don't know what else what you, you expect from you? a... What do you expect you're, you're from stupid. a fucking barbecue place? Harvey's introduces new buildable menu, March 13, 2017. Ended March 13, uh, 18, 2017. <laughs> like, fucking immediately after. Discontinued. Oh my god. All right, let's do this fucking battle. Uh, actually, I'm gonna quickly check to see, make sure not none of my rings broke. Okay, protect rings not broken. Who has the strength ring? Kiwi. No, you're good. All right, here we go. Main battle. Oh God, Kazan's at level one. Uh, I mean, at least he's gonna do more damage now. Fucking yeah. Here we go. All right. Um. Hmm. I mean, she has a lot of MP, so I'm just gonna. No. Snack break? Is it? Do I have ads rolling right now? Is that why it's snack break? I mean, I would love to go get like a bagel with cream cheese right now. Intermission? I think I can do that. I'm gonna run a one minute ad. <laughs> Sound good? Sounds good. Alright, we'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Welcome back. What'd you get? Bagel with cream cheese. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, I guess I clicked away from the... Oh, yeah, I did. All right. Uh, I don't want to go too far. I forgot. I, I can't remember how scary these guys are. Sorry, your throat hurts. Yeah, she has a cold. Uh. We think it's a bad cold. <laughs> Did you not pick any supplicle up? Throat numbing agent. <laughs> Still can't believe my Kiwi only has 24 fucking HP. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Oh, that sounds awful. Just gotta get you leveled up, Freya. Frig. <laughs> Last time I was sick, I I remember I was popping sepa call like a lunatic. <laughs> And then I read the box, and it's like, don't exceed, like, a certain amount per day. And I'm like, man, I had the box. Yeah, four to six. Like, don't, don't fucking tell me that now. The box is gone. Because <laughs> it has medicine in it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I need to not cough for a few minutes. Me? It was, the sepulchre doesn't help me not cough. It helps me not be in utter pain for breathing. That's, that's that, too. <laughs> It shouldn't hurt to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you hear that uh, tornado hit Barhaven? Yep, at least one. Yeah, at least one, but I think when I first saw it, it was like 35 minutes afterwards, but then there was like immediate post, like only like two minutes after that, and it said another f funnel cloud forming or something. I was like, uh. Yeah. No, they uh, they got hit real bad. Well, it was in a construction area, so it was mostly like a lot of loose stuff, but I, I don't think it was enough. I get EF1. Like. Yeah. No, 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 no buildings got just got no. like. You know, torn down or anything, but no, it definitely it, like knocks shingles. Yeah, knocks shingles, but like that's still like debris spinning that fast is still deadly. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Uh, I have uh, any No.
but I just I just remember I had to call my my parents because like I saw the radar and it was heading in their direction. I was like, "Are you guys okay?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I haven't followed up. I know my uh, in-laws were without power. Oh yeah, because they would have gotten in the. Yep. They were in the they path been too. In the path. There's actually, let me see if I can find his name. There's a guy I follow on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, he lives in Winchester, and he he's basically like a, an amateur meteorologist. Okay. But he's really frigging good. And I basically just, I don't even listen to the news anymore. Oh. I just follow him. Smart. There's a lot of amateur, like, storm chasers and meteorologists that do way better than the fucking... Yep. Uh, Connor... Uh, Connor Mockett. Oh, actually, on I Facebook. think that name sounds familiar. And yeah, he does storm chases, and he provided the um, what do you call it? The initial forecast for all of this. Basically, last night he was like, "Hey guys, like, this is gonna be a big one." Yeah. You know, be careful. You're going to get tornado alerts coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, listen to them. Tornadoes are very possible with this with this storm. Yeah. So. My little shepherd boy. <laughs> <laughs> Taming his Dude, wolf friend. <laughs> My, what big teeth you have, Gerald! <laughs> All the better to massacre my enemies with. I can only one experience for Peter? Oh my god, Peter's such a high goddamn level, he's not getting anything from him. I totally thought, totally thought you would have, like, completely surrounded Peter, because... Would have nowhere to go. I considered it. Oh god. We had two defense, I needed that. I'm glad you're hitting hard, Rick, because at one point you weren't hitting very hard. You're supposed to be about heavy hitter. <laughs> Boost, shit. Oh, you haven't been using that? Did you forget? Yes. Oh, see, I thought yeah, that's why you were setting them up that way. That was a heavy hit. Oh, Peter's boosted, isn't he? Yeah, never mind. That explains a lot. So what is his defense boosted then? Oh, only 83. <laughs> put the demon lord in between your two necromancers. Oh, I guess you don't want to get hit by things. Never mind. I was going to say, then you can get the archer in there as well, because that Cerberus is already boosted. Yeah. I don't think Kazan's close enough to get to them anyways. His movement's only five, and he's still at the back. And, and for uh, Tyron, hitting multiple doesn't make any sense. Oh, I forgot about the Mun Man. They're going to... Freaking, oh, they're gonna hurt. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> I mean, that would do set damage to her, but again, she's got over 100 HP. It would take a lot of those to do anything to her. But Bowie! I don't. Is he boosted? Yeah, he is. He still took 12 damage. 
That'll probably do 17 damage. 18. Alright. Good to know. Yeah, come on. Come here. Oh, a little closer. <laughs> nice. I didn't know she would kill it. She did. How is she doing that much damage now? That's a good question. How is she doing that much damage now? I haven't leveled her up. I don't know. She has 72 attack. 107 kills? Yeah, she does a lot of the cleanup. Okay. Kind of like Janet used to do a lot of the cleanup, right? Yes, it would be okay to get thrown num blah 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 blah. It'll be okay to go spend money. There we go. That's an easier way of saying it, right? <laughs> uh Slade, you did your job well. <gasps> oh Kiwi! Oh Uh, who to kill? <laughs> I don't think there's anyone he can kill. Oh, no. I think the 18 Maybe. he can kill. Yay! He belches flames! God. Oh, if he didn't crit, he would have survived. Because the Cerberus are immune to flames. So him doing flames is actually bad there. Is your Shaman a healer, or is he a magic? Oh, he has Blast. That won't do much, though. He's mostly a healer, though. It won't heal much, but it'll heal a lot of people. It heals only 18. He's also your main, your head unit, so if I kill him, um... Yeah. <laughs> I asked because I would need your card. Uh, let me look at my fine- Oh, no, no, you can have my master card now. Okay, Freya. Just heal maze one HP. <laughs> okay, Karna, I need you to block this path. Karna in the middle, that should get- yeah, okay. It's fine, I wanted to get Rick and Bowie. Got two defense, that's a good level up. I did just set you up for that. Oh, it's freeze, so Peter's not immune. Of course it's a heavy hit. Oof, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> See, Blaze doesn't make any sense, but he'll probably be immune to dis- uh... You know what? If I get even one of them... <laughs> Goff game. Mm. 
This could be smart or stupid. Mmm, what's the best route? So that gets four of them. Um, four of them. Um, I'm yep. gonna go with that because I'm feeling that that's the most damaged units there. Yeah, it kills that one. And then there's the Cerberus. Okay. Okay. Um... Oh my gosh, Geralt. <laughs> like, come on, pick up the pace! My god, your devil soldier has a lot of movement. He's got at least six. That's a lot of movement. Of course it's a heavy hit. Oh my gosh, you've gotten so many heavy hits. Good, because without them I'm not doing any damage. That's fair. <laughs> like, nothing I'm doing comes anywhere close to the damage you're putting out. I don't know if Kiwi can do 20. Maybe we can do the 11. Let's do it. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't attack that Cerberus. Poor Peter might actually get wiped out. He ain't going down without a fight, though. Nope. And that might be the end of Peter. It should be just enough. Yeah. yeah. One more, but... Yep. Yeah. Those Mudman I'm terrified of. They have a high attack and high defense. Um... I don't know who the last. I'm gonna take care of the Cerberus. I'm not sure if that was the right choice, but. I don't think I've heard anyone there. I haven't attacked those archers. Squishy. Quick, heal the squishy. <laughs> squishy, heal squishy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are my choices here? Um... Fuck, I was hoping to kill one before it got to their turn. Oh, there's a good setup. Oh. Uh, one, two, three. Three is the max you can get. I was hoping to kill one before this happened. Oh. You just need to choose which three you want. 
Probably that one. <laughs> now they look at how low Bowie's HP is. I should have healed him. I thought he had a little bit more. Necromancer won't die. The Bowmaster's probably got a low chance. So actually, hey, place, please. place four is only yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you can hit four there. Bowie's so close to being dead. Yeah, but it's up to you. I just don't know when the last time your demon soldier went, right? Like healing drop only heals 30. I'm better off wiping something out. Or defending May. Is that Bowmaster boosted? He must be. Yeah, okay. Yep. That explains that. <laughs> oh, always ah. with the one HP. Ah, uh, something goes his turn next. God. I went from a good position to a bad position really quick. Yeah, there goes Bowie. If, if they just did one more damage. I don't know how many times this has happened where I always leave one HP and it literally fucks me over. I might have to regress. Biggest problem is it took forever for Geralt to get finally get into this battle. Now he's he only attacked once. That was his first and only attack. <laughs> uh, this might have not been a smart idea. Why? Because now you can get your units in there to attack May. Oh. if I left them there, then you'd have to wait a whole other turn for them to move out of the way. But now those spaces are free for you to use another unit. I wiped out the ones that were damaged, except for the one up there. I think that one Bowmaster can be healed. I mean, I don't think that'll kill him if it's all three might. I don't know when this Bowmaster last went. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! As he levels up, he'll start using it more and more, which is fine. Unless it's against a, a, a flame-immune enemy, like the Cerberus. 
Oh, Mudman finally gets to attack somebody. I mean, their their defense are practically the same, I think, between Karna and Kiwi at this point. Okay, or, or not. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, well, there goes all my money. <laughs> Still 12,000. I started this stream with 24,000. Really? I thought you had 18. No, I was like 20,000, but by the end of all those battles we did, I was at like 24,000. Oh, okay. If it weren't for that one HP left by that demon... Yep. The, 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 the boost that was left on him spared the 1 HP, which cost you the battle. I think I just rolled low there. You think so? Yeah. Like I always do. <laughs> <sighs> I just want to quickly see something. I, I see the mage staff. I want to see if the mage staff has any um, uses or if it's just a weapon. Or, cool. Uh, mage staff. It is a mithril weapon. It casts blaze too. Oh, I know who I should give that to then. You're not going to equip it, but now you'll have at least a. A blaze too, yeah, that's smart. Two. All right, one last try. <laughs> okay. It was going so well, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> yep. Stats. Is her stats. So 72 defense. What's Kiwi's? Yeah, so their defense is practically the same. So you would have done pretty much the same amount of damage to Karna. Damn. Well, their attack's what, 95? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. So, like, if they hit anyone, like, if they hit him, he's gonna be, like, dead. Like,. <laughs> Even Peter's only got 67 defense. His ring's fine. His ring's fine. Oh, did you hear about the, uh, the crazy BS, the, was it, the streamer executives and Hollywood people said about the Writers Guild? Oh, what, they're basically gonna starve them out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, wow, like, you, you literally just went out and said we're the bad guys right there. Yep. Yeah, basically, we'll just wait for them to lose their homes. Fuck. Wow. And now the actors have joined the strike. Oh, good. So now the entire, basically Hollywood shut down now until yeah. they come to a resolution. Uh, 
absolutely ridiculous. When I, when I read that, I was like, oh my god, like, that's how fucking corrupt these rich people are. Yep. Like, they have to start losing, like, they, they gotta stop losing money at some point too, right? Like, they must be hurting through all this as well. Not to the same degree, obviously. But... Not yet, because, um... Like, everything written is like in post product is like in post production or done now, right? Mm -hmm. Like VFX um, employees, like they're still working. So, like any post production stuff, as long as it doesn't involve like rewrites, mm -hmm. that was still that's still ongoing. Mm -hmm. So the stream of new content hasn't dried up yet. Not yet, but, but I mean it will. The idea of their comment, though, was, well, we can ride this out. Mm -hmm. We know they can't. Yeah. So we'll just ride this out. It's gross. God, I just did the longest way. <laughs> uh. Where's she at? <laughs> Get 90, of course. Two more MP, right? Uh. Okay, at least I have Gerald at the front this time, so he's not going to be way behind like he did last time. Of course, I shouldn't have Gerald at the front. He's got, like, what, the worst defense. <laughs> Could have used another protect ring. <laughs> yep. So I think I gave him the quick ring, didn't I? Yeah. That's kind of because I, I think he has better defense than Slade. Even even with Slade with the defense ring has less than Geralt without. Oh my god, that's horrible. Necromancer one Cerberus with that layout. Yeah. That's fine. One, who did I actually boost? It was you. Oh wait, that's why Geralt has more defense because his boost is he's boosted. Okay. So Kazan, Geralt, Tyron, and Bowie. Okay, so those are the four that I got boosted. So I just need, I just need to keep an eye. I need to identify which ones. So I don't waste a boost. Cerberus heads just look like little skull heads. I know. They look like the freaking skull head from that, like that one Digimon with like the skull, like little bird thing. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, little bird thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> uh. Ignore me. It's fine. <laughs> uh. Google skull little bird thing. <laughs> thing Digimon. Digimon. 
Uh, Skull Greymon. Hey, What's the I... first response? <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to find it either. Um. It might not have been a bird, now I think about it. Or it might have been a flightless bird? One second, let me open up. I think recently is because I, I think I only think I recently because they did a we did a blender challenge and work, and I want to see if it's in there somewhere. Yeah, what is this thing called? Uh that thing. <laughs> what what the hell, hell is, that? is that? I don't know. But it's a Digimon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's called, though. I don't know what the hell that is. Kiwimon? Oh, is that what it is? It might be. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. I think it's probably the baby form of Kiwimon. Oh, yeah, okay. So, Kiwimon... Oh. It's not? Should be Kiwimon. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh... Oh, it's the thing that it shoots out of its mouth. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I understand the resemblance now. <laughs> I get what the fuck you're talking about. Now. <laughs> well, that's good. Gold to... bird thing. <laughs> Granted, Skull red bird, you know. <laughs> with how some Digimon are named. Skull bird thing mon is very well in the realm of possibility. Uh... I could just fuck up Slade. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> I think actually just regular attacking probably would have done more damage. Possible. I like the guarantee though. Hmm. It's fair. Uh Neptune would probably do the most. I don't know with the Cerberus. No, Cerberus Neptune's probably considered a flame. Round. I know Neptune. No, sorry. Apollo is flame. Neptune's water, but it's only level one, so maybe Earth would be best. Yeah, that works. Ooh. Oh, he dead. just blast. Okay, well, it just it just feels like certain things don't do a lot of damage to certain units for the summons. Maybe that's just all in my head. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't put Geralt there. Yeah. Uh... I mean, Bowie's the weakest of the three. Um, <laughs> I 
Welcome, welcome, welcome Black Blue the Dragoon. It's welcome. Uh, yeah, come on over, Slade. Come here. Oh, Brig, it's not gonna do much damage. Oh, unless it crits. That's cool. This is fucking being fucking risky. <laughs> Thank Another God for the critical crit. hit. I thought I was going to do a second attack for a second, because there was that Me pause. Too. And Kiwi says, No! <laughs> you must die! <laughs> uh, Slade's more damn. Oh. Who's more important? <laughs> Bowie. Would you fucking level up already, you useless person? <laughs> There goes Slade. Nah. Oh shit! Slade has no defense. Fucking one was... turn earlier. Oh, I was waiting for this because no one's boosted anymore. That's why I didn't charge out because I was wanting to get everyone boosted as late as possible so they kept their boost as long as possible. He just couldn't survive that one more turn. Very not. That's the problem with Slade. He's super squishy, but he can do a lot of damage. Just like this can do a lot of damage. God, I really wish I had that goddess staff right now. Yeah, there goes Freya. She's fucking not no surprised. Way. Oh, f even boosted, eh? Yep. Jeez. And he's not even boosted. <laughs> boosted, they're all gonna take very little damage now. I shall hydrate. Oh, look at that glorious. Now, what yep. are the odds of me hitting anything here? One. I knew that wouldn't work on the Necromancer. Okay, at least I got one. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, no. Nope. Too squishy. I would really want to get rid of this necromancer, though. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. There you go. Okay, there well there's a another heavy hit, but should be fine.
Ooh, heavy hit on Peter. Fucking 51 with a critical hit, jeez. I'm so glad I put the time and effort into Kiwi now. And also drugging him. <laughs> yeah, the drugs, the drugs matter. <laughs> I meant, I think I used like three power wines and they all gave him like three or four additional attacks, so... We're a little squished up here, guys. I guess your only choice is Rick or Eric. <laughs> Good choice. He has the least, least defense of the two boost. I don't- I think I've killed everyone that's hurt, so... Oh, except for that Devil Soldier. You could just use Aura 1 on him. It'd heal the same amount. Damn it! Yeah, no, Blast isn't very- doesn't have a good range. They give it as like an early archer, that's your range of blast. Kiwi survive? No. Oh, fuck. I'm only 18, but it's enough to get some people out of the danger zone. but it gives someone access to the Necromancer, at least. Because I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay, that's a waste for Peter. Um... Yeah, might as well do it. Ooh, three defense. Nice, Rick. Geralt finally gets in the battle. There we go. <laughs> Take someone out before you die. Fuck you. Always fuck Kazan. You know that's the rule. Uh, no, it was originally fuck Sarah, so it makes sense. That's true. Which is hilarious because Sarah and Kazan get together at the end of the game. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> they can be partners in death together.
I mean, ah. Such a waste. Um... Yeah, that does not do a lot of damage. Tough call. Fuck Kazan. <laughs> I was like, the fuck you was Kazan, so <laughs> thought it was self thought it was kind of automatic. <laughs> oh, oh. Four of my members. Who are the four you wiped out? Slade. As in Freya. Missing one person. Kiwi. That's five members you've killed now. mistake. I'm very tired and I just totally missed that he was there. Yeah, that's fair. Just in case I can get someone beside him. This is going to be a pain. Um, I might as well take care of you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's a game. Assuming he hits. Okay. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad I'd have to fight the Mun Man. <laughs> there may be some survivors somewhere. Alright, we were gonna figure out who Guyana is, replaced by Lemon! <laughs> Do not touch my rock. Did you feed all those devils? I was wondering why it became so quiet suddenly. Are you a survivor? You're from Moon? I'm Lemon. Where are you from? Fast. What do you mean? <laughs> Not explain. I am what I am. That is all I am. He's originally Zinc? This is originally Zinc, though. Oh, Guyan must be in further, I guess. Oh, Zinc's way later. Okay. Wait, no. I'm fucking confused. I swear that was Guyan. Uh. There's a couple things I gotta get here. Now, is the hand here now, or is it here later? Okay, I think that comes later. I need to get the golem arm to get... ...whoever replaces Claude. Uh, I'll kind of abandon us. There should be another running pimento in here. Which I gotta figure out who to give it to now. Geralt wouldn't be such a bad idea, but... Move. <laughs> get the hell out of my way! No! There it is. 
No, that's not for you, Sarah. Don't even take. Don't Sarah. even look at it. Oh, thank God! I was so hungry. <laughs> You're not from Palcona, are you? Uh, we're from Grand Zeal, Mr. Zinc. I'm confused. Yeah, see, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of it. I think this was originally Guyan, maybe? Yuma, are you sure? We settled there just over a year ago. The block tunnel is open now. Yes, now you can go back home. I've been waiting for this day. I think he replaced Guyan. So Zinc replaced Guyan. And Guyan replaced Zinc? And no, and Lemon replaced Zinc. Zinc. God. Okay. I don't I, I guess I must have gotten this order confu uh, out of whack here. The uh, recruitment. All right, so Guyan was replaced by Zinc. I wouldn't mind trying to get Zinc to work cuz apparently he can get really good. And then Guyan or Zinc was Replaced by lemon. Uh, lemon? Where are you, lemon? There you are. There you go. That means Sheila is... Either Chaz or Clo- Oh, fuck. So I'm actually getting Sheila later than I would normally get her, I think. Yep. That sucks. Oh, well. Whatever. To defeat devils. Really? <laughs> but your family, I'm a robot, you idiots. <laughs> My family will understand. <laughs> I am curious, what is your stat, Zinc? Seventy-five attack. Damn. Fifty-seven defense. His agility's low. His movement's bad. That's what's really killer. But if you gave wow. him the running ring. And a running pimento. Well no, I'm not giving him both. That'd be crazy. Uh <laughs> But if I gave him the running ring and then use the running pimento on Freya... Oh, fuck. Freya's just not doing it for me, but I need another... Oh. Mm. I know Freya can get Do you good. Know... Let me ask you a question. Do you need another healer? Yes. With how much... Freya... With how much... Freya gets really good as a healer and even gets high attack. It's just I can't seem to get him there. Okay. Freya was in my final party when we did the race. What's up here? I'm more thinking that at this point, um, Karna just sort of does whatever you need, so... Well, Karna's gonna eventually be my main attacker, right? Yes, paint me as a portrait. <laughs> Love this part. Because <laughs> it doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> yep. May is now yep. Bowie. Love it. Okay, so how- can you guys go, like, actually outside now? And- oh, I guess I have to talk to you. Okay, there we go. I gotta revive some dead- wait. I need to trigger something first, before I forget. How do I do it? There it is. Need that. Alright. Um, I guess I'll go revive. See if there's any new equipment for the next battle. <laughs> and then call it there. Sounds good. Because the next battle's a greater demon with... <laughs> What's her face? I can't remember her name. Camila? It's also on a giant map in the desert. Oh. There's still so many battles. Like, I think we're, like, still, like, ten battles away from the end.
Oh, there's so many. All right, let's go here. I swear to God, if there's a fucking wish staff in there. What do we got here? Okay, nothing. Uh, bye. None of that. Does she have the brass nux or the iron nux? I guess it's really hard to tell because it'll just say... She has okay, so I can get her new gloves. <laughs> Alright, I'll do that. Um, is the, this a better sword for Slade and Bowie? No. Oh, it's the exact same. Okay. Chrome Lance I have. No one ha and have has an axe. Okay, so I guess it is only Karna who's getting a better weapon. Because she needs it. Oh, oh yeah. And yeah, she needs the extra power. Her attack is 70 without a weapon. <laughs> so Zinc actually has more attack than her without a weapon. But as soon as you put the iron knuckles on her. I don't even know how much that goes up by. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for that. I'll just quickly take a look around town, see if there's anything I can... ...find. Oh, I guess there is no pots, anything in the well? Man, I'm surprised they're still alive. Every well I've checked in this game is dried up. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Alright, save it here. Alright, well thank you all for joining. I hope you enjoyed that. I will... I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow or Saturday. I'm planning on not being around, but I don't know how things will turn out. I may or not, I may not be back tomorrow and Saturday, but... Um, if I am back tomorrow, it'll be Shining Wisdom. If I'm back Saturday, it'll be Mega Man. But if not... I will see you guys again next Thursday for probably Shining Wisdom. And yeah. then we'll be back Friday. Yeah, we'll be back to Fridays. This was just a... Yeah, this is a one-off. Yeah, one-off because of, I, I'm planning on being somewhere tomorrow night, but may not be. Um, <laughs> you We're all, all have... fine here yeah. now. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, thank you all for joining. Stay safe, stay awesome, and don't forget to check the laws.